Hello friends, how are you today? In this video, we are going to talk about a uh, retail company and how they can adopt this generative AI technology faster, quicker and better way so that they can reap the complete benefit of uh, generative AI for their organization. Okay. So when it comes to adopting the technology for an organization, the organizations like retail companies are very faster, quicker because of the nature of the domain. So in case of retail technology, the competition is so high and also the time to market is so short. So normally the retail companies adopt the technology faster, implement that faster and release to the market faster so that they can reap the benefit out of the technology quicker, right? So if you are a retail company, this video is for you and you must know how to genuinely adopt this retail technologies, especially the native technology for your retail companies and what are all the steps available and how you can reap the complete benefit for achieving your business use cases in this video. So if you are a retail company, you may be having the right business use cases uh, to implement, right? So the first step in adopting the generative AI technology is to identify the right business use case. There are plenty of use cases available in front of you as a retail company, but not all the use cases are ready for adopting the generative AI technology. So you must know which business use case is right use case for adopting the generative AI technology. So for example, if you're a retail company and you have been running with a legacy chatbot application to support your customers, that is one of the business use cases that you must pick to adopt with Genity technology. It is not like uh, all the wishes can be adopted with the Genity technology. So please be particular and be very particular on the on selection of the business use cases. The, selecting the business use case is the very first thing that you must do before adopting the Genity technology. And second thing is there are plenty of models available in the market. There are plenty of open source models. There are plenty of enterprise ready models available in the market for you to adopt. So uh, as an intelligent uh, retail customer, you must pick the right enterprise ready generative model for using it in your use case. That is the main step that you must do. Uh, do. That is the second step that you must focus on. And third step is to focusing on your data. So as a retail company, you may have plenty of data spread across different silo data sources. So not all the data are ready for using it in the model to achieve your business use case. You must be very, very clear on picking the right data to use it in the model. So for that, you must do certain works like uh, collecting the data, organizing the data, analyzing the data, and curating the data. You must do all these steps to pick the right data set to feed into your identified generative model. And next step is to train the identified model with this curated data set. You must do the prompt engineering, you must bring in the uh, prompt engineers, data scientists do this uh, work of uh, prompt engineering to make sure that your identified enterprise ready model is trained with your curated data. That is the next step, next important step you must do. So now you have identified the uh, right business use case and you have identified the right enterprise ready ready model and you have curated your data you got your data set you trained the identified generative model enterprise ready generative model with your curated data set and now what you will do your generative AI side you are ready but what application to be picked to integrate with this generative AI model that is another important step you must follow Ideally, if you're a retail company, you have plenty of applications already running. You will not be creating the new applications to adopt the Genity AI. You want to improve the existing customer's experience and uh, you want to improve your business with existing applications without investing much on, the, on developing your new applications, right? So if you have plenty of applications, do an analysis, thorough check and thorough analysis on existing application and pick the right application to integrate with this generative technology, what you have worked so far. And uh, after identifying the application to be integrated, focus on integrating that application with the technology that you have recently uh, trained uh, with your curated data. Now the integration part is going to be happening. And after integrating it, validate that integration properly whether your existing application is talking to the, the generative AI model, whatever you have trained recently, 
and you are able to get the outcome, whatever you are expecting as part of your business use case identification and check whether that is happening properly while integrating that application. So after validating the integration of your application with the GDT model you identified and trained with your curated data, make sure that your application is ready to move to production and carefully move to the production with the phase-wise approach of uh, implementing it uh, phase one, phase two, phase three, so that you can, you can get the benefit out of the phase one and use that to identify and fix the problems in the phase one and move to the phase two slowly. And so that you can gradually move your integrated application with the Genetic AI model into production. Now, your integrated application with the Genetic AI model is running in the production. Check the business outcome based on the business use case you would define in the first step. So now you identified the right business use case and you validated the business use case after entering the right data set and getting the output as expected so that you are 100% sure that the identified business use case has been implemented properly with the generative AI technology by integrating with an existing application. Now your first job is over because you picked one use case and uh, implemented that properly with the generative AI model and you are getting the benefit out of it. Now you must go to identify the second use case and repeat the step. So this is how, as a retail company, you must focus on identifying the right business use case. That is the very first step for adopting the Genetic AI model. And followed by that, you must focus on picking the right enterprise-ready Genetic AI model, and then make sure that you do the data validation, data curation of your existing data. That is another very, very important step. And then next major step is to identify the existing application and make sure that that application is adoptable or integratable with the Genetic AI technology and integrate that and implement it into production and reap the complete benefit out of it. So if you are a retail company, this video is for you. And make sure that you follow these steps and take help from experts and implement the generative AI technology and reap the complete benefit out of it and be successful in your business. Take care. Bye.